Here's your range of testers, starting off with the basic outlet tester. I think this is a must. If you're gonna be doing any electrical projects around your house, you definitely should have an outlet tester. You're gonna plug it into a standard duplex outlet, and it's gonna show you the state of that outlet by a combination of lighting up these three LEDs. Two orange would be a correctly wired, powered state. If you see no LEDs, it is off, so that circuit is off. And then a number of combinations of issues that will help you in your troubleshooting to correct said issue. Also, it's nice to get the ones with this little test button. That is to test your GFCI outlets in your kitchens, your bathrooms, your garage. Uh, these are very cheap and a must have. Next up on the must have is a non-contact voltage tester. I prefer this 3P from Klein Tools. Like the outlet tester, a non-contact voltage tester is very cheap. So you can usually get these in a pack, outlet tester and the NCVT, which is the abbreviation. No matter which brand you go with, I would just look for when you turn it on that you see a green LED. What this is gonna do is make sure you have battery power in your tester. Some of them without the green LED can be confusing. You might think you do not have power at a wire you're testing, whether it's a light switch or outlet, you actually just don't have battery power in your tester. So that can be a dangerous situation. Also, I think you should be getting one with a light. When you're turning off circuits, you could be working in the dark and it's nice to have some light readily available. So I think these two you must have if you're doing electrical work around the house. And then a multimeter is kind of your next level up. Uh, any electrician's gonna have a multimeter and really trust this tool, especially over the non-contact voltage tester. So depending on your level, you might wanna also invest in a multimeter. And I think Klein Tools makes a good middle of the road version. So now understanding the different basic testers that you need to do DIY electrical around the house safely, check out this video right here. I'll walk you through why a lot of people are stepping up to clamp meters, which can be an all-in-one solution for any of your testing needs for DIY electrical. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.